Welcome back, everybody. I'm Lorena at Lorena Travel Mundo. I'm coming to you today from my home. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm very relaxed today. I am doing a Korean beauty, you know, kind of video today because it's monsoon season here in Korea and it looks pretty horrible outside. see it's pretty bad out there it's monsoon season in Korea and it's just <sighs> you can't go outside right now <laughs> it's pretty bad and it's like all of a sudden like the rain and thunder and winds will just come and just drench you in like a second it's bad so I haven't been able to do um, a travel vlog and probably won't be able to but anyways here we are with a beauty video instead. I'm sure a lot of you are interested in this. I get a lot of comments and likes on the Korean beauty um, videos I usually make. But um, I want to also thank all my subscribers, new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I appreciate all your supports. Thanks. So today we're going to talk about micro needling. And maybe if I had it in the actual camera, I would, you know, you could see it. <laughs> it's called micro pen. Um, I am sorry. It's called doctor pen. <laughs> and it's micro needling. Um, now, there is um, like three ways that you can micro needle. Um, I first learned about this here in Korea. They actually do it at some spas and things like that where, you know, done by professionals and they numb you and things like that uh, because it's actual, you know, what it sounds like, actual needles. I'm going to open this and I'm going to show you guys. Um, like I was saying, there's three different kinds of micro needling. There's a nano uh, needling, which I actually have the nanos also which doesn't really have any um i don't want to open this one since i'm not really using it but see it doesn't really have any needles in it it's just like little bumps and it helps like if you put on um, like a hydronic acid on your face or any kind of serum then you can use this with your pen and it kind of like makes it go like in deeper in the skin but it doesn't really like you know penetrate like with like with a needle but it just kind of helps on that so this can be done like once a week so it's not bad um this one though has 12 needles i don't know if you guys can see that but there's 12 here and they're pretty big like really big i did it once but i did it the thing about this machine is that you can switch how deep um, the needles can go. And let me show you now that I've opened it. So you guys can see those needles in there. They're pretty big. Anyways, so these go in here, and you have different settings on how deep you want the needles to go 0 0.25 point, uh, 0 0.25 is the lowest which is what I did before and I didn't really feel it um, it was pretty light and they say that anything that's like 0 0.20 0 0.25 or 0.30 it's pretty much just cosmetic needling and it doesn't really hurt there's really not a major downtime maybe like a couple hours because you'll be a little bit red and that's pretty much but it helps um, any of your serums and stuff like that 
going deeper than with the nano so it's still not penetrating like deep enough to do any kind of like collagen induce or stuff like that but it's enough to make your serums and stuff penetrate a lot deeper than just your surface of your skin and I believe they said you can do this one like once a week also which you can like alternate it do a nano one time once a week then do this one the next week things like that but what we're doing today is the medical needling now medical needling is like 0.75 one you know the deeper things because this can get all the way up to a two, well, to a 2.5 Lord. Now, for a 2.5, you definitely need some damn numbing because I don't understand how anybody could do that without numbing. I <laughs> am going to do a 0. 0.75 today, and that's what we had it at 0. 0.75. That is it. Because I want to start with the um, with the micro needling, but not overdo it you know because I don't have any um numbing cream I ordered some from Amazon but I personally do not have some right now so I'm hoping this is not gonna hurt but we will see now the reasons why I'm doing this is because of my hyper as you guys can see you know I still have a lot of this stuff that I can't get rid of Actually, I kind of got rid of the one right here, most of it, but the ones on the side, still gone. So we will be doing this around this area. And then I am going to do like the really light one around the rest of my face. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can take the whole paint in my entire face. Um, so this is supposed to help you with like your hyperpigmentation scars is supposed to help with scars if you have a scar you can just you know use that i think you might have to go deeper with a scar and definitely need a numbing cream then but um again i will actually i haven't said this but i'm going to say this now i am not a medical professional so this is just me trying this at home so please do not take my advice or what i'm doing as any kind of professional help all right <laughs> anyway so I'm pretty much doing this for me because I've heard that it could really help and um, I know they do it locally here in Korea at the spas and stuff like that so I just kind of bought my own pen on Amazon this was like in a hundred and forty dollar investment but it came with everything it came with all like this whole box it's full of needles all of these are needles so I have needles enough needles for a while and whenever you do a medical needling which is you know the deeper one you only can do it every 28 days so every month I can do it but not more than that so once I do this it's supposed to I'm gonna have like a one to three day downtime because my face is gonna be like really red they say it feels like really tight and almost like a sunburn um, and then after that, it's like five days of healing where you can like, you can get really flaky and it's just going to be feeling tight. But then after that, like collagen starts producing and all of that stuff. So that, you know, then renew. And on top of that, I purchased some of these. Um, I want it because you do need some kind of like lubrication in your face to kind of make this like run smooth because otherwise it just kind of gets stuck so you need something that helps it slide so I have this which is supposed to help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation I bought this online I can put the, all the details at the bottom in the description so if you guys are interested but this is supposed to be for treatments of spots caused by aging sun exposure hormonal disorders irritations or inflammation reactions so I felt like this was perfect for pretty much what I have and when I get rid of so I'm gonna do that so this 
bless this. Let's see how much pain this is gonna be. This shit sounds painful. <laughs> but let's do this. Okay, you guys, it's not too bad. The product does let it like slide pretty easily. So it just feels like obviously like, like I'm getting poked like really hard, but not too bad. So I watched other videos of people doing this and they told me to like, well, they were saying to go like kind of like in a pattern like this and then up and down and kind of do it by section. And obviously as you can see, I focused on the area that, that I felt was, you know, my problem areas mostly and then on this other areas that I just kind of want the benefits of it I'm just gonna kind of go once because I'm not trying to do that too much but this is definitely a problem area for me right here so I'm gonna concentrate on this area a bit more And obviously before I did this you guys I made sure I washed my face really good I did a good scrub because you can't be doing this on a you know dirty face you don't want to push any kind of dirt inside like the deep layers of your skin or anything like that gotta put some more lube on that doesn't sound right <laughs> I hurt too more. I won't lie. Ow. Wow, that hurt. Ow. The shit we do for beauty.
it helps it help like I heard it helps with your like your lip line to make it like more like so you can see it better or I don't know. I'm already going through the paint, might as well do it. Oh my god, it does hurt in your forehead. It hurts a lot in your forehead. Cause cause it's less fat up here, I don't know what. So you guys, I just did my face. And as you can see, there are some spots that I'm bleeding out of. <laughs> I think I had like a little pimple there though, but you can definitely see some holes. Whew. And it's getting more red. But no pain, no gain, right? I'm definitely ordering that damn numbing cream though. I don't know how anybody could do this any higher without a numbing cream. Yeah, um, once it dries up, like, it's a lot harder to just like slide it. So it makes it more painful. So always keep it like with any kind of serum. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt even more. Now, I'm gonna go over these little parts again. My, I'm gonna go over the um my problem areas, let's just call them. Again. And I will be done. I'm too afraid to do under my eyes. Like, I don't want to get too close I to get it like up here because I know it's not like directly in my eye and um I heard that it can help kind of lift Right now. Dude, one thing you guys might not know about me, but I do have a high pain tolerance. But I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do this because I feel like it's what the results that I want. No matter what. So, my face feels super tight right now, like I just got bit by a bunch of ants and it's on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh, so, show you guys what I have to do working with this. 
kind of do a very close up. My forehead is the worst, I think. from my freezer and I am about to put this on because oh my God, so good. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to put a cold item after micro needling but I should have probably done this before micro needling that could have numb my damn skin feels so good because I feel like it's like really hot like I feel like my skin is on fire and I'm going to put it a calming mask on to kind of help and then after that I am going to apply some aloe vera a lot of aloe vera on so if you guys remember um you know that I have a store and I sell a lot of um, Korean, different Korean products and this is one of my items that I sell it's really good like you can, there's so many ways you can use this I just put it all over my skin and my face today after I wash it and put my calming mask on so if you guys are interested just go to my shop it's on the description it's uh, shop travel mundo and you can purchase it from there any new customers you get 20% off and it's free shipping to the US oh my god it smells so good so I made my common face mask doesn't have any products that are going to like irritate my skin or anything like that don't use anything with like vitamin C or stuff like that in their skin right after because let me tell you it will burn <laughs> so this is just a nice calming mask it's supposed to be like a collagen thing So I am back now. I've changed my shirt. <laughs> Got all dirty. But um as you can see, the difference in color, I am really red. It looks like really dark in some areas. It's just like you know, like my hyperinfermentation areas look even darker than before. So I hope that just it's a good thing. <laughs> Um, I won't lie, that face mask, like, if you don't put it on thick enough, it doesn't peel off as easily, so I had to, like, rub some of the areas off, and that was probably not a good idea right now, like, to do that, unless you're gonna do it right and put it on thick enough that it can just easily peel off. Just a tip. Maybe just use, like, a nice calming mask that, like, you know, like a regular mask. I could have used this one right here. My Bee Pollen Renew Mask. Should have just used this. But no, I wanted to use my other one. Anyways, now I'm about to do this. Just lather it on. And while I'm doing this, just give you guys a final kind of update. It's 
not burning anymore. It does feel tight. But at least it's not like, you know, feel like a thousand bees are stinging me or anything like that. <laughs> so that's a good thing. And I'm just going to leave this stuff on. Put it on this real thick. And I'm going to leave it on. And probably put some more on tonight before I go to bed. And I will come back tomorrow morning and let you guys see how it looks the next day. And probably just do an, um, a next day update and then a five day update. And um, that way you guys can see the kind of like the final results kind of thing. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but because, you know, they do do... Um, like uh, to do it in sessions like you know in the US you buy a package so you can do like five of them four of them whatever you want to do and more if it's like certain things that you want to take care of so I know that this is going to take a long uh, a long time for it to completely disappear mainly why I bought this because here in Korea sessions of micro needling it's not that expensive they're usually you can find them for like 50 80 bucks a session unlike the US they're like 200 or 300 dollars a session ridiculous <laughs> but um i invested in this because you know even if it's 50 dollars a session here that's still if i had to do 10 15 sessions that's a lot of money compared to just owning it and i can just keep on doing this for the rest of my life you know just to brighten my face do the nanos once a week to kind of push in my product in and stuff like that the only thing is that obviously you have to be brave enough to do it yourself <laughs> so if you can't handle needles then probably not a good thing for you just gotta go to the professionals and I am definitely buying my numbing cream so that will help <laughs> from now on and then once I have the numbing cream then I could probably increase the depth of the needle and probably go from the 75 to maybe a one next time and just kind of keep on increasing it till I guess I get to 2.5 I've seen some girls online like on YouTube to do a 2.5 and they're like they're bleeding and I'm like oh my god but they put a lot of numbing cream on so but the results of like their final results are like amazing on them so hey you gotta start out somewhere but like I said then you know I used up this needle does not get used again that's it you know it's trash because you cannot use use needles because then you can get an infection in your skin you know you don't know what you can push into your skin so you want to make sure that you always use a clean brand new needle just like you know trying to show you guys you know seal package it's come seal obviously this is a nano but all of the all of my needles come sealed so use a brand new one every time don't try to like save money to save needles and like reuse them one or two you know two three times that's not it's not worth it to get an infection in your face um just because you know you're trying to save a little bit of money these needles are not really that expensive i mean like i said the whole unit was 140 bucks and i'm sure this is the most expensive part so once you have that then refilling the doing the other needles is not going to be that much expensive so but that is it for today you guys i'll see you tomorrow so that you guys can see how i woke up okay bye Good morning, so it's day two, and as you guys can see, the redness has gone away a lot. It was really, really red yesterday. It's still really, really tight, but, um, and sensitive, so, cause like, I couldn't even sleep, I usually sleep on my side, and I couldn't do that, it was so sensitive, and this light in my bathroom sucks. <laughs> well, let me see if I can get over here. There we go. This is better. So, as you guys can see, there are some spots. Like here. And in my forehead. 
that are like you can see the holes <laughs> from the needles but besides that I'm really liking it like I feel like it did plump up the upper lip a lot and if I keep doing it it'll be even better and my neck is still like it is pretty red I think maybe I went a bit more hardcore on my neck <laughs> but this is just with the 0.75 um, so I can only imagine like the people that go like 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.5 even up to the 2 like I couldn't imagine ever doing the 2 on my forehead if it hurt that bad with just a 0.75 I mean, the two, I feel like it would just, like, hit my skull or something. <laughs> so, for now, I'm very happy. Um, we'll see in five days how it ends. Right now, I just, I wash my face, and now what I did was just put some hydronic acid on my face, which is supposed to be really good for you for healing and stuff like that. I have the one from Ordinary, uh, Ordinary, if you guys can see it. I'm using my cell phone, so I was like, kind of hard to put that stuff on there. But this is the update for the next day, and I do feel like I'm already peeling a little bit in some areas, but besides that, so far so good. Hello everybody, so it's day five. I just got out the shower and this is me. Clean my face really good. Try to get a lot of that dead skin, but it's still, as you can see, it's still peeling. So, can't really do anything about that because I feel like you're going to peel for a couple or more days. <laughs> but, um, the main thing you guys is my pores like you can't even see my pores I'm still kind of healing but I think that's the main thing for me right now the major change I seen anyways so the other stuff it's of course you know clear complexion things like that my skin feels a lot smoother the marks you know this hyperpigmentation side I feel like maybe it did a little bit lighter not as dark But on my neck, I'm still battling that, obviously, because this is the worst part. So, obviously, it's going to take a lot more than just one session. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep on doing this. Um, I'm going to do another blog, probably like my 10th session, just to make like to make a really good video with really like, you know, noticeable results. But it's going to be a while because you can only do these every 28 days. I might do a fifth, you know, just depending because, you know, just comment below. Let me know if you want to see like a fifth instead. But um, I am going to try and do it deeper next time. I already ordered my numbing cream and I am going to do deeper each time. So every 28 days and I'm going to try uh, like half an inch deeper. So, see if that maybe gives me even, you know, faster results. But, I'm not unhappy so far. So, it's pretty good. I like it. My complexion looks nice. Clear. And the best thing is that the pores. That was definitely automatic. So, if you guys are just looking to reduce your pores, this is definitely the, like, the first time it will do that. <laughs> 
but thank you guys for following this journey of mine you know there's different beauty videos I like to do but um let me know again in the comments if you want to see you know the fifth one or if you know just leave it to the 10th but uh thank you guys again for subscribing for supporting my channel and if you're new again please subscribe and like and comment I'm always um, answering any questions any comments that you guys make I'm always liking your stuff and attentive thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next video bye